his art was pure. How could the result be other than wonderful? No face which we give to a matter will speed us so well at last as the truth. This alone wears well. For the most part we are not where we are, but in a false position. Through an infinity of our natures, we suppose a case and put ourselves into it, and hence are in two cases at the same time. It is doubly difficult to get out. In same moments, we regard only the facts, the case, that is. Say what you have to say, not what you ought. Any truth is better than make-believe. Tom Hyde, the tinker, standing on the gallows, was asked if he had anything to say. Tell the tailors, said he, to remember to make a knot in their thread before they take the first stitch. His companion's prayer is forgotten. However mean your life is, meet it and live it. Do not shun it and call it hard names. It is not so bad as you are. It looks poorest when you are richest. The fault finder will find faults even in paradise. Love your life, poor as it is. You may perhaps have some pleasant, thrilling, glorious hours, even in a poor house. The setting sun is reflected from the windows of the alms house as brightly as from the rich man's abode. The snow melts before its door as early in the spring. I do not see but a quiet mind may live as contentedly there and have as cheering thoughts as in a palace. The town's poor seem to me often to live the most independent lives of any. Maybe they are simply great enough to receive without misgiving. Most think that they are above being supported by the town. But it oftener happens that they are not above supporting themselves by dishonest means, which should be more disreputable. Cultivate poverty like a garden herb, like sage. Do not trouble yourself much to get new things, whether clothes or friends. Turn the old, return to them. Things do not change, we change. Sell your clothes and keep your thoughts. God will see that you do not want society. If I were confined to a corner of a garret all my days like a spider, the world would be just as large to me while I had my thoughts about me. The philosopher said, From an army of three divisions, one can take away its general and put it in disorder. From the man, the most abject and vulgar, one cannot take away his thought. Do not seek so anxiously to be developed, to subject yourself to many influences to be played on. It is 
all dissipation. Humility like darkness reveals the heavenly lights. The shadows of poverty and meanness gather around us. And lo, creation widens to our view. We are often reminded that if there were bestowed on us the wealth of Croesus, our aims must still be the same, and our means essentially the same. Moreover, if you are restricted in your range by poverty, if you cannot buy books and newspapers, for instance, you are but confined to the most significant and vital experiences. You are compelled to deal with the material which yields the most sugar and the most starch. It is life near the bone where it is sweetest. You are defended from being a trifler. No man loses ever on a lower level by magnanimity on a higher. Superfluous wealth can buy superfluities only. Money is not required to buy one necessary of the soul.